Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the second week of June reads, start from the 8th through the 14th of June, 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming in for you for this week time. Just be mindful, because the general read, it may not, not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also uh, check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. I'm just going to put these cards back in the deck, but uh, let me see here. I really feel like, you know, um, for some of you, it's a message that you need to know that maybe you are dealing with a narcissist and you have to make sure that you enable boundaries with someone. Um, your soulmate is yet to enter in your life. So just be mindful of somebody that you might be dealing with um, and they are not your soulmate. Let's see, key shuffling. Now. Let's see what's coming through for you for this. Uh, yeah, and I don't know what's wrong with the, with the deck. I don't know. Hold on. There are some cards which are turned upside down. Hold on. Yeah, now I think it's fixed. What's coming through for you for this? Week time, Sagittarius. What can you expect? There's one more card. Okay. I'm not going to add any of them. So let's see. I don't know why, but with all what happened, I'm picking up like as if there is something in your life um, that, that, you know, it's just, it doesn't feel like um you know th there is something that you believe is a reality but that's not the reality like i said earlier maybe you are stuck with someone you believe that they are your soulmate but that's not the case so there is something that you're assuming to be something but it's not exactly how you are assuming it to be so there is something uh hidden there is something which you are unable to see there is something that you can't uh, see the true colors of so just be careful with that energy let's see what else can we get to know what's happening for you for this week time we do have stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack there you go i really feel like you know there is something that you are unaware of you're gonna feel like you know you were stabbed in the back but i really feel like you know you might have been picking up some signs and messages that you have been ignoring um there is somebody out there who is being a cheater or being a liar to you but you have no clue about that the next card is seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, the body interference. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, that's what is going on. Uh, you might be stuck with the wrong person and you're thinking that they are your soulmate, your life partner and stuff like that. But this person could be just flirting with you or could just be using you. Um, they do have third parties involved here. I really feel like you know, for some of you, the one that you're going to end up with, the one that you're destined to marry, this person has not entered your yet, entered your life yet, is what I see here. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you might get to know that somebody that you are dealing with, they are already married or something like that might get revealed to you. Now, let's pull out some more cards and then we're going to talk about the wedding rings here. Let's see what else is coming through for you. New journey and yin yang. I really feel like, you know, in the times to come, you are going to definitely start off a new chapter in your life, walking away from something that is toxic and not healthy for you. I really feel for majority of you, you might have been stuck with someone and that person has been treating you badly for majority of you and you have been stuck with them for so long. Um, I really feel like, you know, during this week time, the divine is going to present you with opportunities to grow, mature, um, which is going to help you break free from the negativities that you were dealing with and you don't have to deal with them. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you were being deceived and somehow you had that, like, you know, the gut feeling that you were being deceived, but still you were kind of like, you know, trying to work things out. And I really feel like, you know, this week is the time when you're going to understand that, you no, know, something is fishy and you're going to let it go. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, there is some truth coming out for you. And we do have two double two. So true, true, true. If you um sorry, two, two, two. If you have been seeing the number triple two a lot lately, there is a sign in that, there is a message in that. And if that's something that you have been seeing a lot, triple two, be that in your in on your phone or otherwise as well, just know one thing that triple two is a big sign that you are ignoring something. 
there is something fishy going on behind your back you are ignoring that so it's a reconfirmation again and again the divine really wants you to know that this is not what you are thinking of it to be this is not what you're thinking of it to be so you have to break free from something to get to be with someone or something that you're destined to have or destined to be now i really feel like you know, for a majority of you you are definitely like you know um definitely you are stuck with someone wrong in your life right now let's see some more cards here what else is happening for you during this week time i feel like you know somebody might have uh, promised you that they're going to marry you and then you get to know that you know they are already married and they would never marry second time or something like that might get revealed to you so somebody has stabbed at your back obsessed hug your lover i really feel like you know for some of you um i really see you meeting someone um new who is going to be the one for you it's time for you to clear the energy it's time for you to clear the path for yourself you might have been keeping yourself stuck with that person that you need to let go of walk a different path and that's where you're going to meet someone who's going to be obsessed with you who's going to love you a lot who's going to hug you hold you call you you know and talk to you you know do the things that you deserve to be you know on the receiving end of I really feel like you know, this person that I see coming for you, it can be also a friend who probably has some interest in you in a loving way. Um, as you choose to walk away from this situation, maybe they are going to open up about their feelings to you. That might come through. And if that happens, they might openly propose or ex express their feelings to you instantly. And you might take things forward with them um, without having, you know, um, having to think about it at all. Because you might have known this person for quite some time. They were always interested. They might have already shared with you what they want with you, but you kind of like, you know, stopped yourself from giving them attention or time because you were so attached to this person who was, you know, not being loyal to you. So I really feel like, you know, somebody who is not loyal to you, somebody who is not truthful to you is going to get revealed to you and you're going to get into, you know, a new connection which has been there in your life for quite some time but you were ignoring i really feel like you know there is going to be um truth coming out for you um i really feel like you know your your love life is uh, um i really feel like you know for some of you you might already know that this person whoever it is that you are dealing with could could have been married because your romance with this person could have been interrupted by by them and their responsibilities and now you feel like, you know, you, you don't want it because you, they might have promised you to get, you know, that they will marry you too, but that's not happening. So I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, maybe their love language is physical intimacy and that's all they have to offer to you. Now, for some of you, this person that you're dealing with, they might be very obsessed with you. They might be very, like, you know, they act as if they are very caring and loving towards you. It can be the same person that is showing up here. But there is something that you are unaware of. There is, like, you know, they don't treat you right. You know, even if they try to treat you right, they don't treat you right because they don't tell you the truth. So you are being um, fooled by this person. There is a third-party interference here. It's very, very strong at that. This person might also like you know still be promising you that i'm gonna get married to you and stuff like that but during this week time something is going to get revealed to you and you will be able to part ways from someone then so i really feel like you know for some of you you are still stuck with this person and their intimate relationship with you but at the same time this is not the one that you're destined to be with they will not give you what you want i really feel like you know you might be um holding yourself out from moving on from this person because they promised that they will uh, get committed to you but they are not telling you the truth they they might have been going on and off in your life and the reason is and that's the reason why the divine really wants you to kind of like you know, clear the energy light some candles and so you could receive the signs coming from the divine and if you have been seeing triple two that's a big sign that somebody is a cheater here that you're dealing with so yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.